there is a question regarding law library okay that is given from your uh, college yeah. law library right it's given from your college also and i guess there was one question also in some question paper so we will try to see what is law library all right so what is library to know to get the information to know the more information we will go for library to read the books yeah we go to library to read books so apart from books do we have anything else also in a library no ma'am only books there only books okay so you did you get time to visit your university's library no i guess right no yeah because of lockdown yeah so if you visit your university's library or if you talk to your whoever is there appoint library uh, your you know like whoever is there to look after the library those people if you talk to them you will come to know that there are many other things that are there in a library all right you may have visited a library in your school sometime there what you will get you will get newspaper also right you will get some magazines also right so there may be different things in a library but what is it that you get in a law library that you need to understand so you can just start with a basic intro like a library is not just a walled structure but it is a collection of resources opportunities knowledge and learning experiences a law library is what it's a collection of legal information right because it's a law library mostly it will have legal information only okay but take for example in your case you are also you are studying bba llb some of your friends studying ba llb right so yes. apart, apart from law you are also studying accountancy and other subjects right so in those cases the library of your university or college will also have some books relating to maybe accountancy relating to maybe history political science right english uh, kannada right all those also may be there but mostly it will be dominant by law related information all right so it will be legal information resources statutory codes case reporters books journals newspapers and much more so apart from books there are a lot of things that you get inside a law library all right a modern law library has hybrid collection of print as well as digital information that means it's not just the books that you see but it also have a lot of information which is digitally stored all right so if you talk to them you will come to know that you may have some access of the library that you need to use to be able to view all those digital information right there may be different types of journals right foreign journals that they have subscribed to which you do not have the hard copy but you can access the soft copy in a digital form right there may be other different books or different other materials also in a online form right it is very convenient to refer uh, case laws national or international courts case laws you know right judicial decisions court has given a decision those decisions you can refer to what happened in this particular case in detail you will get those all right you will get legislations like i told you yesterday how a legislation looks right constitution of india indian penal code income tax act it act whatever it is you will get that law journals of universities across the globe it's not just indian law journals or from your university but across the globe whatever journal they are keeping you will get access to all those journals as well law reform reports of international bodies etc right like just like law commission of india there may be some international bodies also who prepare law reform reports those also you can access in a law library okay so a modern library is what it's a hybrid of both print as well as digital information okay both of that you get now resources of a law library may be categorized in this following three different types all right first is primary source of law what is primary source of law and there is another one called secondary source of law any idea what is the difference between primary 
and secondary source of law. Lesson more. Hmm? Uh, primary means somewhat else less, ma'am. Primary means? More. Uh, Let's try not. You can tell what you are thinking. Primary means what? It's less, ma'am. Uh, it's less. So primary prim means it's hmm. more. Uh, uh, it's more than primary. Okay. So primary and secondary, we have two different uh, like sources. Okay, that you get. Primary is it? What is primary? Like first hand, all right? Take for example, parliament has passed a legislation, that exact legislation you are having, okay? That means no one has put their comments or some other other stuff, nothing is there. It's like primary data is coming to you, all right? So primary means where there is no modification or anything, whatever it is like that only you get, okay? Primary means whatever it is like that only you are getting, okay? So primary source as in, you get Constitution of India, the Barrack that we saw, right? You will get the Barrack. As well as, apart from Indian Constitution, some foreign constitutions also you may get, all right? So if you visit a library, you may get Constitution of India, as well as constitutions of other countries, like the Barrack, all right? Without any modification or anything. Similarly, you will get primary source, as in like original copies of legislations, statutes, codes, or X of central or as well as state, right? That day I showed you, right? Your KSLU Act is there. KSLU Act, you remember? So that also you may get. That is what? That is a state legislation, right? Similarly, if you see Indian Penal Code, that is a central legislation. So all those legislations also you may get. Case laws of Supreme Court of India, 25 high courts and uh, 25 high courts from S SCC, that is Supreme Court cases and AIR, all India reported. All right, so you may get exact what the judge said, right? Exact copy of the case. Also, you will get of Supreme Court as well as all the high courts. Okay, those are also very important information that you get in law library. And finally, research journals of universities and law institutions across the world. So you get all these research journals as well. All right. So what do you get? You get constitutions. You get different legislation, statutes, or X. You get case laws. You get research journals. Then secondary sources. What do you get? You get commentaries. Commentaries as in someone has commented on a certain thing. Okay. So you get commentaries on statutes, legislations, or reports, all right? There may be a legislation. On that legislation, someone has commented, someone has analyzed that legislation. Those also you will get in a law library. Legal encyclopedia, some, uh, it basically will give you understanding with regard to some legal material, right? Those also you get. You will get books also, textbook, reference book, guidebooks, and all you will get. Law dictionaries you will get. Just now we saw, right, Black's Law Dictionary. That is a very common thing that you will get in a law library. And you will get digest. Digests are also similar to commentaries only. Someone has basically analyzed the entire thing and narrowed it down, okay? So all these information you will get in a law library. These are like secondary sources. sources. Next one is tertiary sources of law, which means like publications that summarize information which is there in primary and secondary source, like you will get exact cases of Supreme Court and High Court, but in tertiary source you will get like, uh, take for example, the citation, how you will refer to those things, those citations and all you will get. And then you will get some directories and all those may be useful for you with regard to your work. All right, so there are basically these three things, three uh, groups of things that you will get in a law library, okay? You can maybe remember these three main points and inside what is there, like case index, directories, like that you can remember. 
all right now just because see you told right that library you thought the library consists of books but there are so many other things right so a student or a normal person like us we will not know that there are so many things that are there right so what happens is when a person joins a college or university there is something called as user orientation program okay so basically the library people will give you an orientation program to you like when you join college they will give some orientation program right they will give a basic understanding on the course and every single thing similarly for library also they these days give orientation program where they tell you that we have all this information and how you will be able to access all that information right they will give you all that details how many books you can issue in a month what will be the late fee right all those information that you need to know they will give you all those information so it also becomes very important because orientation program will give us an understanding on what all different things are there inside the library and how we can maximize the benefit out of it right so this is basically with regard to law library any doubts on this part no ma'am so is this subject very difficult to study no interest at all what is it difficult now i'm getting right now i'm understanding so i'm able to read understanding okay because other subjects right you can relate with your norm you know like normal cases and all you can relate but this is like yes. little bit so not legal yeah it's like philosophy it will <laughs> philosophical and that to like first subject only so you know like in last year and all you will know what are commentaries what is key you know like scc and all now it's like everything is like that so it's a <laughs> fine okay somehow you managed this time other subjects are like what you can relate right with your normal life yes, but this time for me every subject is new because i came from science group now uh -huh, uh, aha yeah. bba mm -hmm. yeah every subject is new so i have to understand and i have to do it but i think like commerce subjects are fine only for you right yes ma'am yeah mm -hmm. like this is first of all it's law subject and secondly there are so many like different different words like you know scc air all these you will know when you are in second semester third semester you will gradually start knowing so this time everything is like new for you <laughs> when ma'am will say articles and and all that and i will say me what have to keep square mind in my mind and i'll get confusing mm -hmm. for most there are so many articles yeah. yeah for most universities this subject they will give in some later semesters not like first semester So that is actually one thing. So you'll just read. Hmm. You'll, you'll teach every law subject, ma'am. No? Yeah, I teach all law subject. For judiciary also, I teach. People appear right. Judiciary, you know. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. I listen that subject. Mm hmm. I listen newly that subject when ma'am explained about the middle of the subject. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fine then. So for this time, right? Whatever notes I am giving you, you somehow digest that. <laughs> that yes. because gradually you will come to know about all these things. What you are reading, right? That time, that time you will be able to relate all of it. When I asked to my ma madam, she said that no one will teach about legal subjects and all. So that's why I asked first only, ma'am, if anyone is there, tuitions are there. And She said, "No one will teach legal methods. At last, we we know to know. You will teach like that." Or no one thing. will teach Whatever. legal methods or no legal subject. Legal subject only. No one will teach. You no, no. <laughs> There are so many students. <laughs> There are some students doing three years LLB course. I am teaching them all the subjects. So yeah, people do look for this, right? Because it's very new for you. Yeah. Okay. 